Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video. And today I will show you guys how you can replace Siri on your iPhone with the new chat GPT 4.0. As you probably have heard, the new version of chat GDP has been released. Of course, it's rolling out slowly, so not everyone might get it right now on their device. And even though it is marketed as free, it is free, but it's very, very limited. So if you just want to get the full features and use it all the time, you will need to actually pay the subscription, which is $19.99 a month. But still, whether you're using the paid version or the free version, you can use it and replace Siri on your iPhone. And of course, is way, way better than Siri. So you can see right here, I can ask for anything I want simply by using the button here. Find me the best deals on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The best deals for the iPhone 2024 includes significant trade-in rebates and affordable plans. AT&T is offering up to $1,000 off with a trade-in now, what's really cool is that, of course, it will speak to you, but then you will also have the chat here. Everything it tells you will be right here. And you even now have the chat history. So everything you have talked about will be right here. It's very good, of course, way better than Siri. Now, the way this works, you will basically have this button right there where you can now use speech to actually chat with chat gpt it's really really cool now right there at the top you can see it says chat gpt 4.0 and if we go right there we can switch the model let's just go back here to clean page so that we have the model we can go ahead and change this now as far as i know if you're using the free version you will be able to use 4.0 for a limited time and then it will just switch to 3.5 that's because of course there will be a large number of users trying to use that and they cannot basically do that for everyone so you will have a limited time to use a GPT 4.0 with the limited version. So of course you will have a few minutes or a few like tries during the day for free and then it will switch to 3.5. But if you pay the subscription, of course you can use it all the time. Now let me show you guys how you can actually replace Siri with chat GPT 4.0. Now the first thing you wanna do is head on to the shortcuts. Now you can create this shortcut right here, start a voice conversation, but you don't have to even though it's very easy, I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video. Once you have added it, it's very simple. If you have an iPhone with an action button, then just simply head on to your settings, then go to action button, go to shortcuts right here, and then tap here to choose the shortcut, go to your shortcuts, and just choose the start voice conversation shortcut. And of course you can use the action button to just have a conversation here, trigger conversation with chat GPT 4.0, which is really awesome. Now, another way you can do this, of course, if you don't have an iPhone with the action button is using back tap. So you go to your settings, let's just go back here and then go under accessibility, go under touch and then go to back tap. You have double tap or triple tap. Just scroll here to the shortcut section. Then we have the shortcuts. Let's just find the one we need. There we have it. Now we're good to go. Now all I have to do is double tap here. And of course it will start to chat GPT 4.0 and I can go ahead and just do a conversation there. This version of chat GPT is actually amazing. You can just simply add things here, files, maybe photos or directly from the camera. We can shoot a picture and ask anything we want like what's in this picture or something like that, or you can just send it. It will give you a description of that picture. It's really, really awesome. So you can see it right here, how efficient it is. So you can now simply speak to ChatGPT and it will let you know anything you need. Of course, things like weather, browsing, anything you want, and of course is way better than Siri. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you on the next one.